So with regards to other, maybe like dietary behavior in, in particular and how that influences cholesterol levels, I think that a lot of people have the misnomer, the misnomer that if you eat cholesterol, it's going to increase your cholesterol levels. But basically, it's pretty well known that dietary cholesterol doesn't really influence your serum or your blood cholesterol all that much. First off, tell me if I'm wrong there. Second off, what other nutritional behaviors impact cholesterol levels? Yeah, no, you're correct. Um, just eating cholesterol doesn't necessarily raise it. Um, what we see probably raises cholesterol the most is, is eating a lot of saturated fat. Um, so that doesn't mean necessarily that saturated fat is bad. Um, so a perfect example of this is my co-founder, Mike Mallon. Um, he and I, six years ago when we got into this, we looked at we, we sequenced our DNA when we were first started starting out. And one of the things we noticed, a real aha moment for us is we looked at his DNA. He had all these markers that made him very sensitive to saturated fat. I had none of them. So we had we hypothesized, and he had really high cholesterol at the time, dangerous levels. So we hypothesized that um, it looks like he need to be, needs to be almost on a vegan diet, and I can eat as much animal fat as I want, like a ketogenic diet. And we tried this out. We would do these experiments where for like two weeks, we'd both eat like a vegan diet. We'd do the same workout, trying to crush each other, measure our blood markers. And sure enough, on his diet, I felt like crap. I performed poorly. My markers went everywhere. On my diet, animal proteins, um, like the sardines we were talking, you and I were talking about earlier, like other plenty of saturated fat. He felt horrible. I killed him in the workouts, and his inflammatory markers, cholesterol went went nuts. So while I say saturated fat increases it, it depends genetically if you're if you're really sensitive to it or not. The the other thing I'd say is refined carbohydrates as well, and looking at your th those can play a, a role in in making your um, bad cholesterol worse. I've also heard that fiber intake is something that influences cholesterol and brings cholesterol down. Is that true or not? Or do you know, do know much or could explain any more on that? For sure. It's just as simple as it binds uh, the cholesterol molecules more. So, so that is totally true. Um, two things. When you're eating a lot of fiber, it takes up a lot of room in your gut. So you're probably eating less of the saturated fat and the other things. Um, and it just can tend to bind uh, some of that, that cholesterol as well. So those are the two reasons why that's true. Right. Gotcha.